unto me, I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know about. Jeremiah 33. 3. All right, welcome back to another episode of Musical English. And today we have a very fun musical and song for you. Today we're going to be talking about the musical West Side Story. And the song we're going to be talking about is Maria. So I don't know if you guys know this musical, but West Side Story is a modern day version of Shakespeare's play Romeo and Juliet through Tony of the Jets and Maria of the Sharks. Something interesting about this musical is it gave birth to two great musical masters. First, the composer Bernstein, who allowed for the fusion of classical and jazz music. And the second, Jerome Robinson, who enhanced the level of musical dance into choreography. And before Robinson, a dancer would teach dance moves after coming up with the concept of the dances. But in West Side Story, producer Robinson was a dancer himself. So he, as a proper choreographer, he led the whole show as both a producer and a dance director. Now, before we move on, do you remember today's Bible verse? Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Let's try to meditate and interpret this verse as we keep on learning today. Call unto me, I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know about. So what do you think about this verse? Um, this verse actually, it just shows how much there is answers for everything. Mm. Like, you just need to do one thing. Call out. Like, ask. Jesus, I'm here. I need this. And the answers are going to come. And what you didn't expect to see, you are going to see. When you read this Bible mm. verse, how does it make you feel? It makes me feel, like, confident to tackle every situation I encounter. And I feel like, because I have been searching and I don't get the answer, the Bible is telling me I will get to know unsearchable things. So I'm just confident. Like, yeah. even if I don't find this answer now, if I call on to God, I will get to know mm. the answer later. Yeah. Do you think it's hard to just call to him? It sounds so simple. Yeah. But... You know, as human nature, sometimes it's so hard to ask for help. And God doesn't come like physically, I am here. <laughs> he, I... Yeah, he uses people around us. So sometimes he might be using your friend, mm, your family member, or someone you really don't know. Yeah. So us being able to open up, that's how we are going to get help. And how did this Bible verse inspire you? Uh, it inspired me to learn with no end. Sometimes mm. you feel like, uh, I know everything. <laughs> I know enough. Yeah. I'm better. <laughs> but mm -hmm. they are saying that there are great and unsearchable things that we yeah. might not know about. So it makes me feel, oh, so learning has no end. Mm. I know, but I have to know more. And mm. it makes me like continue reading, continue wish to know more. Searching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. <laughs> now let's move on to the song, Maria. We're going to be listening to the Johnny Mathis version of this song on YouTube, so I recommend that you listen to this version as well. So this song, if you fell in love at first sight, would you be confessing your love like the main character Tony would in this song? So in this song, Tony from West Side, West Side Story sings, I've never heard such a beautiful voice before with a love-smitten voice. Ah, so romantic. So, Tony founded the Jets with his friend Riff, but he outgrows the group and falls in love with a girl named Maria, who was a part of their rival group, the Sharks. And Tony sings the song Maria on his way home after he sees her at a ball. 
And all the way home, he calls Maria's name, and as he repeats her name, his feelings for her get more and more intense, and he falls more and more in love with her. It's a very romantic song. All right, now let's move on to some phrases in the lyrics we can learn. Number one, blank will never be the same to me. Blank will never be the same to me. And this phrase means that something is now different than before. It will never be the same to me. It's now different. And in the lyrics, Tony sings this phrase like this. And suddenly, that name, Maria, will never be the same to me. And this means that the name Maria now means something different to him after meeting the love of his life. Maria means something so much more. It meant nothing before. Now it means something different. Another example of this phrase. After hearing the backstory of the songwriter's life, her songs will never be the same to me. And this means that now the songs sound different to me because now I know the backstory. I know what the songwriter's talking about. And this means never be the same to me. Got it? The second phrase, almost like. Almost like. And this means similar to. It's almost like means it's similar to. This is how Tony sings it in the lyrics. Say it soft and it's almost like praying. Which means saying Maria's name is similar to praying. It's almost like praying. It's similar but not quite. It's almost like it. Another example. This vegan cake almost tastes like the real cake but not quite. And this means that this different version of cake, <laughs> it tastes similar to the real cake, but not exactly the same. Does that make sense? Moving on to vocabulary. The first vocabulary word, ever, E-V-E-R, ever. And this is a word that is used in comparisons for emphasis. So, let's see an example. Tony sings, the most beautiful sound I ever heard. I ever heard. It's used for emphasis. That's the most delicious food I've ever tasted. The second word is never. N-E-V-E-R, never. It's very different from ever. And never means on no occasion at all. It means not at all. Never ever. And Tony sings it in the lyrics like this. And suddenly that name will never be the same to me. Never. Or I'll never stop saying Maria. I will never stop. Pretty easy. The third vocabulary word is single, which means only one or solo. It means one, single. An example in the lyrics. All the beautiful sounds of the world in a single word. He sings that everything, all the beautiful sounds in this world is in a single word. What's the word? Maria. The fourth vocabulary word is just verb. Just and a verb. For example, just ate or I just sang or I just laughed. Ha ha ha. This word means very recently or in the immediate past. It just happened, something very recently. And Tony sings this phrase in the song with the lyrics, I've just met a girl named Maria. So I just, I just met her. I recently just met her. Got it? All right, now it's time for our pop quiz. Yeah! Number one, fill in the blank with a vocabulary word. There isn't a blank person among us who didn't cry after watching the movie Romeo and Juliet. There isn't a person among us who didn't cry after watching the movie Romeo and Juliet. What could it be? There isn't a mm person who didn't cry. Try to take a guess. <laughs> All right, if you guess the word single, you are right. There isn't a single person among us who didn't cry after watching the movie Romeo and Juliet. That means there wasn't one person who didn't cry. 
That means everybody cried. All right, second pop quiz question. Fill in the blank with a vocabulary word. The final report was due at midnight, and I blank turned it in. Whew, that was close. One more time. The final report was due at midnight, and I turned it in. Whew, that was close. What goes in the blank? Try to take a guess. Did you guess just? If you did, you are correct. The final report was due at midnight, and I just turned it in. Whew, that was close. That means I just, I recently, very recently, just turned it in. Great job. All right, well, I hope you learned something new today about the musical West Side Story, such a great musical, and the song Maria, very romantic. And I hope you learned some English phrases and terms as well. Make sure to tune in to the next episode, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!